My name is Jim Rittler. Uh, I'm an instructor at uh, Tri Rivers Career Center in Marion, Ohio. I've been teaching for 20 years uh, to juniors and seniors. The Ag Industrial Power, um, we're the only program in our, in our school that actually do simulators. A couple years ago, we purchased the excavator and, and the dozer. And then this past summer, we purchased the small four-wheel loader. Our advisory uh, board decided that CAT was the elite and, and the top simulator out there. That's why we went with CAT simulators. The nice thing is with the simulators is if it's raining, we can still operate. So it doesn't matter what the weather is, the simulators have been such a big key as a recruitment tool. We've had great response, uh, kids really liking it, and seeing them get on them and, and, and thinking, wow, I could you know, possibly be an equipment operator or whatever it may be. And then what's really neat too is my students really enjoy showing them because they're so excited about it and you know I could talk and talk and talk and, and, and try to get kids to come in my program but my students sell my program not me. You know try to emphasize to the kids it's not a game. I want to get you a career where you're going to like it and love it and be able to make some money. It was really nice to look at the Simu campus to be able to set up the classes and things with the simulators. Wow, what a, what a big accomplishment for me and make it so much easier as an instructor to be able to manage the, the simulators and help the students see what they have learned and what they've not learned and what they need to improve on and those kinds of things. When they start out, it's, it's a competition and then they get together and compare and they'll help them and say, well, maybe try this or try that and it, it's so cool to be able to see them to help one another and I just sit back and enjoy and let them do it. Employers tell me, you know, and I ask them, what are things I need to teach my kids? And they said the big thing is being alert, be productive on the equipment, and being safe at the same time. I have kids out on the work site, so they'll do their academics in the morning and then go right out to the work site, um, you know, a half a day and the employer will come to me and say, wow, Tyler's really done a great job. Um, he was able to get on the, you know, the four-wheel loader and operate it and not have any problems, and I don't have to worry about it because he's been through the safety aspect of the, the simulators, and he can't believe how the simulation you know, correlates with the real machine.